Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and you know the question that is often asked is should I buy a good old radio like you know portable receiver desktop receiver or any type of radio a good radio anyways that I can you know like this Texan S2200X or it could be you know an old radio of the day or maybe uh, you're looking into like I said some desktops uh, or cheaper portables and um, often the question is I don't know if I should buy that or should I buy an SDR and first of all you got to understand that these are two different types of radio they cater to two different audiences if you want to have as much autonomy and as much radio time in any situation anywhere um, even when you don't have access to a computer well yeah a standard good old radio like we call it is probably better and it's simple the reason it is better is simply because they work on their own they usually have good battery life they don't need any external you know help apart if you really want to maybe a piece of wire just to you know extend the antenna longer but they are the good old standard radio that is reliable and will work anywhere. Why would you get an SDR instead of this uh, is, is the question. Well, if you need to be portable and be anywhere all the time, have something that maybe is small and gets into your you know shirt pocket, like a PL330, for example. Well, these are cool for that. It's, it's, there's nothing external to bring with them. They just work out of the box. And SDR, like this is the uh, network SDR uh, from SDR Play, but any SDR, the uh, RSPDX, the RSP1B, uh, an AirSpy HF Plus, will require you to have some computing power. It will require you to have a computer or a tablet of some sort to have it working. Because it doesn't work on its own, or, yeah, there are exceptions. The Malahane DSP2, stuff like that are kind of self-contained small SDRs that are kind of in a hybrid mode. They're in the category that is in between a standard portable and an SDR receiver. Uh, but for the most part, battery life is not as good. For the most part, if you use an external SDR, a little black box, like uh, SDR play devices, well, you will need a computer and that will also mean that in a situation where say you go camping an SDR might not be the best option a standard radio will be a good option but also where are the differences where do the differences lie between a portable like this one and an SDR well you're tuned to one frequency and although some portables like this one have quite a few bells and whistles, you know, several bandwidths, things that are making um, radio receive better. The SDR is kind of a king of the radios because not only is it our standard radio, it is also a visual radio. You can see what's on the band. So if you tune a frequency, you see all of these peaks, for example, here I'm in the medium wave band. And you can go and say, oh, look at that, there's these stations here and there. Sometimes on shortwave, um, and we talked about it on the live show, for example, in utility stations, when you go onto a utility band where there could be all sorts of signals popping up, that visual aspect will bring you signals that you might, you know, see that are like, oh, what's that? And you can click on one and listen to it directly. And that's a major difference because on a standard portable like this, you're not you're gonna miss out. You're listening to only one frequency, and there's no visual way to know that oh, just above or below that frequency, there's something new. So the SDR is truly something fantastic for that because as you're listening, you can see where new signals are starting everywhere and you if you're curious you're going to go click and say oh what's this and what's that it's very interesting and especially in um, things like utility signals what's interesting is that since signals are intermittent they're not always there 
it's even more fun because now you're not going to miss out on the action of what's happening on a specific frequency while tuning some other frequency, for example. So there's a lot of advantages. Also, because they are software controlled, the majority of all the bells and whistles that the behavior of the radio is defined by the, the radio software, by what's on your screen. And so they can add tons of features you will not see on a standard portable radio. I mean, the Texan S2200X is a great radio, but you have a million times more options and an SDR because they can add as many options as they want as long as, you know, uh, the software is updated and changed all the time. There could be a new version of software that adds new things. Uh, you can add, you know, um, noise reduction features. You can add, it's, it's almost limitless um, because it's a kind of a programmable way of listening to radio. And so uh, there's a lot of options. They're very, very interesting. They're two different types of radios, totally. So when somebody asks me a, a portable or an SDR, it's not really a good question because you can only answer that depending on the use you're going to have. Do you want to have something that gives you a visual, that gives you flexibility like we've never seen before? Um, and don't mind using a computer, a tablet, or something like that. Or do you want a standalone little radio that will you know, be good, will receive all the frequencies you want, but will have a lot less to offer in terms of features. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.